How do YouTube today? We're taking a look at the Transformers The Last Night. We've got Barricade. This is an awesome looking figure. I really love the design of Barricade. Love the image of him. Uh, I've been going through and watching the previous Transformer movies in preparation for The Last Night and reviewing the deluxe class Barricade. One thing I really like is that Barricade is one of the few Transformers that actually appears in all of the movies. I think that is quite cool, and I'm excited to see him in the new one as well. There's something about Decepticons, and uh, personally, I prefer Decepticons to the Autobots, even though they're the bad guys, just because as a kid, they were cooler transformations. Like, you look at the first movie, and uh, even the second, the third not so much the fourth, but all the Decepticons, and even in the shows and, and everything, turn into cool things. You have a police car, and I love on the, the side, to pro, uh, uh, instead of to protect and serve, it's like to punish and enslave. I, I thought that was a cool little uh, subtle thing that they had on there. But uh, you had the police car, you had tanks, you had jet fighters, all these cool transformations. Then you compare it to the Autobots, and you have a truck, and I'm going to get a lot of heat from Optimus Prime fans. Uh, and, you know, you've got some nice sports cars and supercars and muscle cars, which are nice, and I like them. But they're not as cool as the Decepticons, and there's just something about the Decepticons that makes them a lot better. The Last Night figures look fantastic. The detailing on them, I think, are the best movie Transformer figures that have been released, ever. They look so good. And I'm really keen to get this guy opened up and out of packaging. Nice shot of Barricade on the side there. At the top, there is a great shot of Megatron, Barricade, and uh, Berserker, who is a new Transformer, but I think is a amalgamation of some of the Dreads and also Sidewinder or Sideswipe from one of the other movies. So I'm interested to review him for you guys as well. Uh, that's it on uh, packaging shot on the side of Barricade. There. He's got the uh, the brass knucks. <laughs> He's a sinister trickster. 11-step transformation, so it's not that bad. And with that, let's get him opened up and out of packaging. Just a quick look at the inside of the packaging. They went to a lot of nice detail on this, and it's something that I definitely really appreciate. But the uh, sleeve inside the actual box is uh, pretty nice as well. Okay, and here we have Barricade opened up and out of packaging. Now, the paint applications and the detail on this guy is awesome. I'll bring it forward so you guys can see. Uh, just the level of detailing on his face is epic. Really a big fan of the color scheme for this guy and the level of detail they've put into him. Definitely liking the metallic blue. For some reason, I feel like I owned... An old school version of Barricade as a kid that turned into a, uh, a Lamborghini, but it was a police car. It might have been Barricade, it might have been a completely different Transformer, to tell you the uh, honest truth. Uh, I loved watching Beast Wars as a kid, but never really got into the old school G1 or any of the other newer series of the Transformers. Then when the movies came out, obviously I was a, a big fan of those. He is rocking the Brass Knucks which is uh, kind of cool. He's got good articulation as an actual robot. You can pose him in pretty much any position you really want because of all the different moving pieces and moving parts. So he is highly articulated and really cool. I like the Gatling gun that he's got there. You can also give him a uh, nightstick, which is kind of cool. You can put that in a few different ways, I guess. Slot it in there. Have him hold it. So you can do uh, a lot of different things with that. I probably won't display him with that accessory. He does come with a gun, which is a little bit better. There you go. Nice. Brass knucks, Gatling gun, and a pistol. What more could you want in a Transformer? So he is a, a pretty cool figure. Now for me, what uh, I like to do is display the Transformers in their transform state. I will show you this guy in his cop car form. But just for a comparison, you can see a Voyager class Galvatron, who I love the design of and I really enjoyed in the movie. I don't think they're going... Oh, I hope they do, but I don't think they're going to explain how he goes from Galvatron to Megatron or if it's even the same person. 
I'm not really sure, but uh, I really like the design of this guy and I enjoyed him in the fourth movie quite a bit. Stinger, obviously a retooled Bumblebee in the movie was fantastic. And you can see he is a little bit taller than Barricade, but I guess you can stand Barricade upright and he looks a little bit bulkier, a little bit stockier. Appropriate for the name, he's pretty jacked. He's got uh, some big pecs. But definitely a cool looking Transformer, especially when you compare him to some of the other Decepticons from the last movie. So just while I'm transforming this guy, I just want to point out a small little design feature that is an awesome, awesome thing that I love. I love accessories, but I love accessories that have a practical purpose. There was nothing worse as a kid when you have a figure that comes with 10 different things and you lose them and then uh, you're really upset. So I love when they have a functional purpose. And here you've got the Robocop look where you can clip the gun onto his leg and same thing with the baton. And actually to transform them in the instructions, it encourages you to do that. So a really cool feature and something that I absolutely love. So let's keep getting this guy transformed and I'll show you his completed police car form. Okay, and here we have a somewhat transformed barricade. He fits together perfectly, the back section. I, uh, for some reason, am really struggling to get him to fit at the front. Uh, it's the arm section here that is really bugging me. I've tried to turn him around and stuff. Anyway, I'll leave it for another time. He does look fantastic in his transformed form when you do it correctly. And the detailing and paint on him is uh, really nice. Even underneath, all the little detailing of this section here is really nice. The actual cop car itself is pretty cool. It is reasonably sized, to be honest with you. Uh, it's about a, I want to say a 132, like a slot car size, which is pretty cool. The color scheme is awesome. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it's a nice metallic -y blue, which is really cool. And uh, I like the Decepticon logo to punish and enslave on the side is really good, which is interesting because on the box it has to protect and serve. So uh, I like that they have the old school graphics there. Now this guy is a completely new mold for Barricade. They have released several of him, but uh, this is the first in this new graphics. In terms of what car it is, I think it's a Ford, but I'm not 100% sure. We will see, I guess, in the movie a little bit clearer. But definitely a cool looking transformer. To transform him back is a lot easier than it is to actually transform him into his car form. Now once again, uh, full apologies, I absolutely suck at uh, transformers. So it's not that this figure isn't all that good. It's just I'm not that good at uh, transforming him. Uh, so I guess the arms are the things that are annoying me the most. Nothing like watching someone fumble big time with a child's toy to make your day uh, <laughs> essentially this back section clips on if i could unclip it it would be nice and what they did design wise was pretty awesome to be honest with you uh, so this top section here uh, the joys of uh As I say, full disclosure, I am uh, really bad at Transformers. Really, really bad. <laughs> so that does clip together and unclip, which gives you some room to get rid of the arms. Okay, so we'll flip that down. That's the first thing. I'm not exactly following the steps here. I'm just uh, trying to get him back to his robot form with pure incompetence. So uh, you can see it is actually not that hard to transform him into the robot mode or into uh, his car form. It is actually uh, pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. Um, move that across. Flip this around. Flip this around. That clips in at the back. We have his feet. And then this section at the back is really, really cool. You don't have to detach it. I uh, just did that because I'm not very good. But the doors fold in, which I thought was a really cool feature. And then uh, it literally clips in 
at the back here. So uh, a pretty cool design for him. I'll fix that in a little bit. And uh, a pretty cool looking figure as well. Definitely a cool looking Transformer and one I highly recommend. Looking forward to the new movie. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the deluxe class Decepticon from the last night, Barricade.